AFTV, wow, what an incredible transfer deadline day. I don't think I've ever said that since I've been doing um, transfers on AFTV, probably when we signed Ozil. But this is a fantastic day because we have made a signing. We have made a big signing on deadline day, and that is Thomas Partey. I've got troops with me. I've got James with me. We're going to talk about this. Troops, this morning, and I saw you last night, you was already angry. It was already brewing. And you was like, yeah, man, these men, they're not giving us what we need. And why aren't we getting Partey and that? How do you feel now that, out of the blue, kind of, we pulled it off? I think the biggest deal of the day. Agent Troop strikes again, blood. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> I put out the tweet after Liverpool, yo, party is time, bro. You understand? You got over 30,000 likes. He must have saw that, blood. You get me? No, I'm joking, <laughs> but you get me? Like, I got what I want. You understand? Beast in the midfield, blood. Yeah? You understand? What's man telling me now, blood? What the fuck is man telling me now, rude boy? Yeah? <laughs> RP, my nigga, smoke, blood. Baby, welcome to the party. Yeah? <laughs> I'm off the money in the Zan the lean, best man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Hey, love that, love listen, that. Listen, don't fuck about, blood. You understand? Party, party midfield son. destroyer. Let's ha let's have it right. You understand? Proper midfielder. You understand? We we have got a uh, boy. You understand? A another rabbit out of the hat. Forty-five million for this. You see that fucking fridge up the road for eighty million? Well, up the M way. Yeah, eighty million for that fool, you know. Forty-five million for quality, prime steak. Yeah. Not no flipping chicken dipper or no <laughs> bird's eye burger. You understand? This is proper prime, yeah? The, the best cut, you know the ribeye? Yeah, the best cut of the steak, blood. We have that now in the midfield, blood. You understand? I've been craving this since Vieira left, blood. You understand? I've been craving this, bro. I'm a man that I grew up in the era where we dominated midfield, yeah? You couldn't fuck with my midfield, blood. Now, you get me? We're on the right track now. Gabriel behind, you get me? Leno, party, I've got a blood clot, Yang. Spine. That's a spine. Spine. Yeah? Now we have to work around the edges. You understand? You see it? I'm happy, blood. It's, 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 it is a great signing. Um, James, tell us about what type of player Partey is for people out there who don't know. Yeah, I mean, um, I think you're looking at someone who Def defensively, that's where he's strongest. Um, but he's a ball carrier as well. Very good on the ball. I mean, we, see, we saw him go to Anfield and just boss it. And the, the, the biggest compliment I can play to him is he does it in a two-man midfield. Like you see Simeone's always lining up with maybe a Koke or a Saul or something. They don't feel the need to give him an extra man. He just dominates like by himself. He's like physical, energy, but proper talent on the ball. How many like defence midfielders we had who... You know what, you praise their commitment. I'm talking about so like Coquelin, who, mm. do you know what, decent tacklers, they get committed, they run about, but when they get the ball, it's like, right, give it to Cazorla, just give it. <laughs> and and Partey's not about that. There's so much more to his game. Like, he will be on the press, he will carry us forward, he will break the lines. Like, I honestly think this could be the deal of the summer. I mean, mm. genuinely, world-class player, 40 million, or 40 to 50 million. Like, unbelievable, unbelievable business. So and happy. This morning, none of us thought that this, this was going to happen because we were told that the party one was completely dead. I think most people were kind of holding out for Awa, mm. thinking that might happen. Then the Awa thing went dead. So we're thinking, all right, what's going to happen? Jorginho and things like that we're hearing. But got to hand it to Edu. He's pulled it off, hasn't he? You get me? He's... He, he Getting saw... a lot of stick yesterday as well, Yeah, wasn't he? And, and, and rightly so because, you get me, if... This could have been done from time ago if it's no, just No, but remember I said, no, you're not rightly so. I said to you yesterday, because you was one of these people... Brendan, let me tell you something. You, wait a minute, right, wait a minute. You're calling, you me, you're calling me Brendan now. I said right? Brendan. Yeah. <laughs> you were one of these yeah. people, you were losing it. And I said to you, yeah. calm down yeah, and many... let's... Remember that? Listen. Let's wait. <laughs> yeah. Let's wait yeah. and see what happens. Yeah, but right, because this... these sort of deals are not easy to be done. They're not easy deals to be done. Yeah, but it's a release clause thing, so it's easier than most deals. You understand? Let's be real now. It's a release clause thing. It's not a we have to go there and get me. Yo, we've got thirty-five. Now nah, we want this. Yeah, we, all right, we've got forty. Now nah, we want this. Hit the release clause and we're active. You understand? We should have done this earlier. Maybe 
it was freeing up funds to get it done, what has delayed mm. it, because that's the only thing I can think of. And we've not really been able to free up much funds. You really. understand, Bakar, Guendouzi go, go, go loan. You understand? Um, I don't mm. know what's going on with Torreira. We're trying to bad them up now. I, I love the shithousery. <laughs> you get me? I love it. You try to bad man up for the whole thing. Now we're badding you up, blood. Can you imagine if we have Torreira and party in the midfield, blood? Can you imagine that, blood? <laughs> you understand? You understand? You understand what I'm saying now, blood? You get me? You could have... Hey, hey blood, you get me? Like, Arsenal, do you want to? You get me? But the reason why is because I've seen it happen over and over and over and over and over again that we haven't gone and made the move. The player's been there. We know what to do to get the player. We're dilly-dallying. You're seeing other clubs go out and just hit the thing, hit that, get what they get their targets. Mm. You understand? Now, we have done that, blood. You get me? Big up Edu. Yeah, big up mm. Vinay. Because when, when, when he took the reins from man like Raul, he said that, yo, you get me? We're going we're gonna to back it, innit? And you have to be real. Gabriel, Willian, I mean, I know, but Gabriel and Partey, for me, in one window, for the price we got them for, mm. we've got them for less than they got the fridge, blood. Yeah, I'm, I'm sending pure shots, dog. We're not business. Yeah, we're not business, blood. You understand? To get a player of that caliber, blood. Yeah, in this time, in the position we're in as well. Mm. Let's not forget, we're not like a City, a Liverpool, even a Chelsea, where you're in the Champions League. We're in Europa. He's left a he's left a Champions League team to come to a Europa League team. Levels to this thing, we boy. Yeah, big club. Yeah, big blood Clark club. Yeah, Thomas Blood Clark party. Yeah, <laughs> we mean blood. Love it. James, do you reckon that that release clause worked mm. in our favour? Because had it not, you know, this is the one time it might have worked in our favour because we just been able to activate and get the player. Yeah. Whereas that weren't there, Atletico did not want to get rid of him. Did not want him to go. It would have been hard, hard negotiating and a much higher price to try. And we've seen what he's been like with Awar. Well, I think the release clause allowed us to leave it this late. I don't, I don't, for people out there, and to be fair, there aren't many, but whoever's saying this is a panic buy, like, get in the bin. No, this sure. is not a panic buy. He's been a top target. I actually think this is one credit to, as you said, credit to Vinay, credit to Edu and Arteta. I think they knew what they were doing with this. I think they're trying for Awar. They're trying to see if they could get maybe some instalment deal, something around it, see what they're left with. And then they've gone, right, let's just hit the button, get party. So... I think, I think this was always a very calculated move. And I think the, the release clause, I can't believe it was that low. But, you know, mm. for the player we're getting, it's a tremendous value. And yeah, I think it was one of those deals. Apparently, you don't have to go to Atletico. You just take it straight to La Liga. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's just easy as, it's easy as that. Here you go. Here's the money. They deregister him. Does a medical. Apparently, he's, you know, it's all done now. I mean, mm -hmm. that's pretty special. All right. Well, that's it. We have signed Thomas Partey, the Ghanaian... Vieira. Chale, right. welcome to the Arsenal, my brother. <laughs> right, we have signed him. Um, I think it's been a, an excellent, excellent signing for Arsenal. A really, really positive day. We have been crying out for a player like this for a very, very long time. Let's hope that he can come in, hit the ground running. And this really does strengthen this Arsenal team. And under the manager that we've got in Mikel Arteta, we can be really, really optimistic now of having a really decent season. So finally, I just want to say welcome to Arsenal, Thomas Partey, and come on, Arsenal, let's just have ourselves a really good season now. It's Robbie here from AFTV. Don't forget to check out AFTV on Flick for all the latest transfer rumours, for all the information on Arsenal, for all the information on AFTV. You can check me there for Q&As on a regular basis. The link is in the description. It is free to download. Download it right now.